Ron, who said, if you join the Sea Org, you are one of the greatest people in the universe. And then after you join, he says, you leave, you dare leave, you're a degraded being. How do you reconcile that? How are you supposed to leave? You don't, you're not told that when you join the Sea Org. Oh, by the way, if you leave, you're going to be labelled a degraded being. Not by me, by Ron Hubbard. Yeah. You're a degraded being. Like, to call me a degraded human? How, how dare you? I gave my life to you people. I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought I was saving mankind based off of the premise that you presented to me. And you sold me a lie. And then I went around selling that lie knowing it was a lie. And that's the difference between a victim and an aggressor. And these people that are the aggressors, like me, that did ask you to abort, did ask you to walk away from your wife, your children, put your child in a cadet organization and thump them full of Scientology for 13 years, and then when I thought the picking was right, I'd take him out and put him in the messenger organization and put him through a bunch of drills that told him how to get compliance. I didn't give him sex education. I didn't teach him the history of Earth. I didn't teach him literature or the fine works of Shakespeare or Frank Herbert or Orson Welles. I didn't get him to read Moby Dick. No, I got him to read Mission Earth, which is full of perverted sexual acts. And then I go and tell him, can't have perversion. Don't listen to your brain. Don't listen to your instincts. Don't have friends. If you have friends, you might have to comment them one day. So what do you do? Don't have friends. You have the facade of friendship in the scene. Because at the end of the day, you can know these guys, and then all of a sudden, you're in trouble. Boom, they don't want to know you. Is that a friendship? What kind of a family is that? Mm. You know, and then you get these dysfunctional people walking away from the Sea Org, and people say, well, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but who's the crazy one? Me for being there, or for you for not helping me to stop it? So these kids that you got for the CMO, that you recruited for CMO, um, how old were they when you recruited them? Typically 13, 14. We didn't like them too much older than that. Why? Because they started to develop their own instincts. At 15, the guy's fully into thinking about sex, women going out, drinking, um, perhaps even, dare I say it, listening to music. Well, at 13, you can cut him off on that, because this is where he starts to develop. What is pleasure to him? This is as he starts to take the shape of a young man or a young woman. Yeah. That's the perfect time to get him. What's pleasure? Pleasure is getting compliance. Pleasure is having people do what you tell them. Pleasure is being rewarded for an up statistic. You, you're literally taking their instincts and you're, you're, you're actually changing the way their brain works. You do this long enough, it's the Pavlov dog. Yep. Okay? Ring the bell, he knows it's dinner time. And the seal, ring the bell, you know you're going to get comment. You know what to do. Comply, 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 comply. And the irony is that the prison's just out here in your mind. It's the same prison, though, for a civilian going along on a road, driving at 60 kilometers an hour. He has a choice. Do I dare go to 80 kilometers an hour? Well, he can if he wants to. But how would you like to be in a place that knew every time you drove at 80 kilometers an hour? couldn't get away with it once. How would you feel then? As a, as a civilian here in society, imagine if your government or council knew every thought you had, every time they put a black box on your car and you, every time you drove over the speed limit, gave you a ticket, gave you a ticket, gave you a ticket. They knew every time that you had too much to drink and charged you with intoxication, even if you're in your own house. Welcome to the world of the Sea Org, if you let it go on. That's the world you're looking at. Come in for your weekly sick check. You drank too much, you were sick. <laughs> Ethics condition. That's the world you're going to get. Orson Welles, 1984, take a back step. This is something even greater than that. We're talking about not only controlling your actions, we've taken it back to the step of not only controlling your thoughts, but we've taken it back to preventing you from being able to generate that thought. That's a terrifying world. Yeah. If you dare let the sea org expand, anybody stands by and lets it get to that point, you have no one to blame for yourself but something that will make communism, 
look like a like Bob sideshow. We are talking about ultimate control. I can line up 100 Sea Org members and ask them a question and I'll get an identical answer because that's what they're told to think. Yeah. The Scientology work, yes, 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 yes. Have you had ones? Yes, 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 yes. What do you think about psychiatry? Bad, 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 bad. What do you think about heavy petting for marriage? No, 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 no. Clones. They do have personalities down there somewhere, but personality requires a means of expression. If you take that away, sorry, that's not an L. Ron Hubbard photo on your wall replace it. Where did you get that quote from? Ah, oh, from this book on this book. Replace it with Alan Hubbard. You're going to get not just, not just going to get robots. Okay, robots is a, is a mild thing. You're going to get something worse. A human being that still computes but will only compute on what it's told to. That's worse than a robot because a robot is, has predefined parameters. But you're getting a free thinking robot. That's terrifying. You want the world to be like the seal? You don't think it's going to expand? Guess what? That's not what they think. Because within the society, there is a certain individual that you can get. He was always the high school bully. And he still wants to be the bully. And when you hire him and you recruit him, like I did, I love them. Make him a bully. Give him. Tyrone Webb, small little kid, laughed at, had a big head on the shoulders, literally a big head for his body, laughed at, get even, be a messenger, tell them what to do, they'll scare, they'll be scared, and guess what, he loved it, little Tyrone Webb, I trained him up, and there he goes, and now he's there doing the same thing to human beings. Yep. Yelling, screaming, intimidation. Why? Is he an evil kid? It's just that I took away the parts that allowed him to be free and I augmented that little trait there. That poor, poor little kid had that little thing about him, about being dominated, and he didn't like it. So I gave him a solution. I said, If you're dominated, dominate others. And Seal will continue to grow and win if you allow this horrendous policy to exist that can train people to be like this as human beings. Because when you talk to a Seal member and you ask him, Are you happy being in the Seal? And he says, Yes, I am. Try to understand something. He means it. he is happy. Okay? He is, mm. because that's the way he's programmed. If you put a dog into a kennel this big, and that's all the dog knows, it learns to become happy with that environment. This is why we have human rights, acceptable standards of living. The Sea Org takes these children that have already been in the Sea Org. They already live in bunks at the age of three years old. This is what they are used to. They're used to not seeing family. They're used to not... You're not giving them something different. You're giving them the same. And then when this kid grows up and becomes like David Miscavige, leader of the Sea Org, and you say to him, oh, it's inhumane to live in a bunk. No, it's not. He, knew, he wouldn't know what it was like not to. Mm. So, if that's the way you want the world to go, just let the seal grow. Do nothing. Sit back. That's Scientologists. How many affidavits are out there? How many people are screaming? You know? Yes, I believe in religious freedom. I believe this guy has a right to be a Muslim. I believe this guy has a right to be a Catholic. This is not what we're talking about here. I'm talking about their actions. I'm sick and tired of the Church of Scientology International putting forward their creed. Going, but this is what we write, but it's not what we do. Yeah. You know, here's the difference. A Catholic priest rapes a child. The Church itself finds this disturbing and does want that priest to be punished. They do. They don't want their priests to rape.